Hey y'all, it's Stephen Van Camp and Lewis on August 8th, and I have a problem right now. It is spider mites on my catacetums. Uh, a few of my smaller plants look pretty bad, and I have to say this is the first time that that's ever really happened to me uh, in summertime. Uh, typically spider mites might pop up during winter, uh, especially when the plants are brought into a greenhouse or inside and the air is kind of dry. So it's really uh, unusual, I have to say, so unusual this is the first time it's ever happened to me during summer where I get a severe spider mite infection. Unfortunately the plants, uh, the infection of the plants got kind of bad and, and so the ones that I'll show you here in a second aren't looking so hot. They're the smaller plants. It, I don't really know uh, what's causing it this year whether it's the, the unending heat or the fact that I've moved a couple times or even just the fact that I have my catacetums all kind of bunched together. Um, or even the fact that I'm, I'm watering each plant individually rather than using a, a hose and hitting them all at the same time. So regardless of the conditions that allowed the spider mites to really take hold, um, you know, since I can't figure it out, there's too many variables that have changed. So what I want to do right now is turn the camera around and show you what spider mite damage looks like and maybe some ways to treat it and basically, uh, you're gonna nuke your plants if you see them getting like this. So I've got the three plants that are severely affected by spider mites here. And this one is especially bad. But what is interesting is that these were all the smallest plants that I have. Uh, all of them were underneath larger plants. And I kind of wonder if, if that had something to do with it. So spider mites, you'll notice that especially the bottom sides of the leaves are, are the most affected because that's where they sit, tend to, to sit. And what they do is each one of those little guys will stick their little uh, proboscis into the leaf cell and, and basically explode the cell and suck out the juices. So all of these leaf cells have essentially been exploded and are no longer useful to the plant. So as things get worse and worse, they eventually progress to the point where the leaves are completely dead, as you can see in this one. So this one, I don't know if it'll survive, to be honest. I'm kind of sad about it because it was probably a pretty good one. But, uh, I don't know, we could, you know, this could perk back up. Um, or maybe not. Another thing that you'll see on really bad inf uh, infections is... I don't know if you can see the web down here with the little little spider mites in between. Uh, that really shows that this was particularly bad infection. The little tiny spots are actually, you can see some web here. The little tiny spots are the mites themselves. I treated these guys about a week ago, so this one, um, those little, the little webs with the little corpses in them. I don't think there's any live mites left, so I'll, I'll do another treatment tomorrow. But, you know, ideally you catch your, your spider mite infection, you know, even, even less further along than these guys. I hope these guys will live. This other one is another Mormides from Sunset Valley Orchids that I got last year. And sadly, this is one that I got from William Green last year. Uh, it it is the the better of the three, and I think this one will perk back up, but it might be set back for a little while as all of those leaf cells slowly die. Of course, on the back side is where most of the animals are, so uh, if you are wondering if you have a spider mite infection, what you do is you can rub your fingers on there, and then you can, you can get them on your fingers, or even better, if you get a, a white tissue or a white piece of paper, and rub it along the back of the leaf. If you have spider mites, their dead little squished corpses will turn into red streaks on the white paper or white tissue. Now there are a number of products out there that you can use to, to fix the spider mites. If you have kind of a low grade infection, you can use sort of the more organic type things like an insecticidal soap or even neem oil will, will do the trick in, in low grade infections and, and you'll want to treat several times but for stuff like this, these plants that are just dying off, 
you need the you need to pull out the big guns. You need the you need to nuke this plant. I'm sorry, organic growers. It's just not none of the organic products will do what needs to be done in order to save your plants when you're when you're at this point. You need the heavy stuff, the big guns, the chemicals, and as long as you wear uh, you follow the instructions and you wear PPE or personal protective equipment, you'll be fine. You're unlikely to get cancer or any sort of ill effects from chemical use, especially with the use of PPE. That's it. I'll let you know how these do in the coming future. See ya.